Hello, hello. This is Pam Belders. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been stamping up since about 2015. Uh, I'm coming to you live on February the 15th. 5th, 5th, excuse me. February the 5th, 2023. Um, I have a new setup here, so that's why I look a little different and you can see more of my background here. So anyway, I got a new table and it's a little higher. So I'm going to try this out because I have my other table right here also. Anyway, oh, and I was going to put my headset on. So bear with me just one second. Not that, that you might be able to. Anyway, I'm going to do um, a window sheet card. Um, I had some people over last night and she showed me one and I have the instructions, so I'm going to go with those, but I'm just going to do it a little different. Have something to do with the paper pumpkin that is coming up called Sunshine and Smiles. So, here we go. And I don't have all the paper cut out, so it's going to probably take me a little bit longer. I have some of it cut out. So, um, thank you for watching, and hold on just one second while I switch the camera around. And actually, I don't have my plug in either, so bear with me. My cord fell. And back. Let's see if this will work. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it around. And I can't rotate my phone. This might be too high. I don't know. Hold on. Is that good? Can y'all see me okay? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, let me see if I can get over here on this screen. Oh, I'm, I'm probably crooked too because this is, like I said, a new, a new setup. Okay. Anyway, here we go again. <laughs> sunshine and smiles and I've got I cut out paper from what did I do with it oh cut out some of the rain and shine designer stage paper that I just got so I cut out some of the little guys here um actually with my scanning cut as I don't didn't ha I don't have the dies as of yet. So those are going to be on the front of my card. And we're going to see how this goes. Again, we have until the 15th, I mean the 10th of February. So five more days to sign up for this paper pumpkin. Anyway, so here we go. I need the card base to be. I had to bear with me too. I'm kind of at an angle here. Five and a half by eight and a half. So. Eight and a half. So this is already eight and a half, so I need to do this eight and a half. This is like five and a half, five and a half. There we go. Oh, hello. It's regular. Five and a half by eight and a half. And then we're going to bone folder that up. Let's see if I can find my bone folder. I think we're going to. I think we're going to cut some of this off and cut off the front two and two and a fourth. 
No, I'm not on the screen. I'm sorry. Two and a four. I'm going to cut this at two and a four. Ooh, that looks too high. No, that's going to be right. That's right. There we go. And then we'll have a little strip. Let me see if I. Three and fourth, okay. One third, one fourth. I'll make mine a little bit bigger. One inch. Because <laughs> I don't know how to. And then I'll cut it smaller if I want to. Hopefully y'all can see me. I don't know. Okay, so here is my base. Then I need to cut this down. I need to cut this paper because it's going to be my behind paper. Now I already know this. So this is going to be the same width as this, which is five and a quarter and five and a half. So I'm going to do this five and a half. Then I'm actually going to cut this in the middle. I need. I want it to be right about, I think, here. So I'm going to go three on this side. Thank you for watching me live or replay. We'll put those on something else. We'll see how this goes. I have no stamp set picked out, but I think this will be simple enough. Oh, I need my... Thank you for watching me live or replay. I don't know who's on. Oh, they're gone. Oh, and of course, all my <laughs> my uh, tape runners are in the other room because we had a class this night, so I'm using something that is not stamping up. how this is going. Here I am. I'm not reading the directions now. I'm just uh, eyeballing this. Yeah. That's how I like to go rogue. Just eyeball it. Oh, that's too short. That is too short. I need it longer. Really? I just need this part longer. And I can go down a little further. Just go right there. Oh, should I make this? Yeah, I'll go right there. I'm going to put this down here, but I'm going to make this shorter. I'm going to put sky up here. Measure. Oh, I don't have my 
good ruler I didn't bring everything in here I feel really bad but let's see how this works so I'm gonna do two inches here for the sky And this is going to work on here. Yas! Yas! I like my sky. Thank y'all for watching me live or replay. What is, which way do I want the sky? No, not in the camera, I don't think. So I want that sky, yes. And now I'm going to put this back here. Because I'm making mine a little bit different than the sample, I mean the directions that I have. Only because I want to. And I'm going to cut this down to a fourth. Bear with me. Not a fourth, two thirds. This looks crooked. Oh, straight. It does it says it's straight? Oh, I did that backwards. I did do that backwards. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, there's always a will and there's a way. Oh my goodness. That's okay. I kind of like it that way. <laughs> Well, I'm going to put my little guys in front of here. So you won't be able to tell the difference anyway. Right? So. There we are. Oh, you know what? I can tell my little uh, things in there, but that's okay. Actually, again, thank y'all for watching me. I'm using the sunshine and. I really need my pencil. I don't know what to do with my pencil eraser. Oh, here it is. Hold on just one second. Hello, Cindy. This is my take on the... Oh, my table shaking. Is my table shaking? I want to say I kind of fussy cutted these, but if you can tell what I'm doing, I put them through my scan and cut, so I have pencil mark all around it, and I don't want that on there. You can kind of see it. Or at least I can, so I'm trying to erase it real quick. John put a new table in here for me. So I'm on the new table, which I guess is shaking now because it's, yeah, this might not even work. So here we go. And... I'm actually not even going 
Oh, it did go too. No, it did. Yeah, it did go too high in there, didn't it? Let's pull that off. Put it down a little bit further. There we go. It's a good thing about using the wrong tape. I can move it. <laughs> So there it is, that one. Let me see, I was going to stamp something on it, but hello, do I have a stamp here that I can use? Something. I will do a new stamp. So I got the Country Bouquet. Today is actually one of my best friend's birthday, so. I guess this is going to be her little birthday card. She is, I believe, out of town right now. She runs out of town all the time. Let me see if I can find the blocky. The block here. I have so many blocks. I'm going to find some white paper. And I'm going to put this with Memento. I'm going to have to go back and glue him back on there. Why is that screen keep popping up for me? Hopefully, I'm sorry if I keep coming out of the screen because I'm kind of cockeyed. Oh, that did not go. Let me do that one more time. Me and my scratch paper. I'm going to have to put a happy birthday in the middle of that. Let's find my scissors because I'm just going to cut this off. And I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to pop it up just a tad. See if I've got my dimensionals over here. A couple of three dimensionals. Talk amongst yourselves. Grief. And then I guess I'm going to throw um, a happy birthday inside here somewhere, probably up here. Ooh, maybe I can get that right there on that side. Ooh, that might work. I'm just put a happy birthday right there. That is what I'm going to do. That's going to have a happy birthday in there. And then I have another little turtle I can throw in here too. On the inside. No, I don't know if I like that. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, I like that. Alrighty. I don't have another one. I can do another one. Let me see if I can do another one. I can do another one. Two and a, what is this? 
Oh, I gotta fold it first. Hello. Bone folder it. Oh, I lost a piece of paper. So we'll do one more. I was going to do one off camera, but then, yeah, I don't know if y'all can tell. I still have the plastic on this table, and I'm sorry if I'm pumping up against it, but one and two and two and one four. Do this one more time because I have another window sheet somewhere here. Yes, I do. I'm going to have these guys on the inside, though. This is going to be a little bit different. What do y'all think? Okay. be so much different and oh we need to bring them down just a tad don't we all the way to the bottom or I should just cut I'm gonna cut more off the top that's what I'm gonna do leave them where I want them and then just cut a little bit more off the top better. Actually, actually that's how I was going to do this one. Now I'm going to put a bottom down there. I'm just gonna have it be I guess that'll be okay. No. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'm in the screen. Thank you for watching me live or replay. Uh-oh. I might have got a little bit too short on that. Oh, did I did? That's okay. We're going to come in just a tad, and we may have to put some stuff at the bottom. We'll see. Or it'll just be one short... I'm going to go ahead and take this off the back, off the back, on the back. Hopefully that wasn't the strip I needed. And if it was, no. I have another strip I can put throw on here. So I'm going to throw that on here.
There we go here. Hopefully that will stay. And then we will put a little more sky up here. Let's measure my sky here. Look at my ruler over right here. Much good here, about one and a half. One and a half sky now. One and a half. A little one and a half sky here. That way. Yes. Can't believe I don't have my actual tape runner in here. Thanks for watching me live or replay again. And this is my take on just using the sunshine and um rain or shine um, paper and I'm going to stamp another little thing I think I'll put it just right there let me see what I've got these that I have here I have another one I'm gonna do Another birthday one, which is from the Beautifully Happy, which is a celebration that you can actually take advantage of right now if you order a $50 order. You can get something out of the book. I'll do that one. Oh, almost lost this stuff. I'll do this black memento again also. Am I shaking up the, the table? Can you tell me if I am? Anyway. Let's hope this comes out right. Just like this. I'm a baby man. I'm kind of weird. I have to like stamp it off first. Always. <laughs> I'm just weird like that. Oh, yes. Look at that. So, da da. Da da. Oh, I gotta put happy birthday in this one. And I will have those. out. Let me get another birthday stamp. I think I'm going to get this one. Is this it? No. Did this fit on there? It will! I need a D. I need a D. Okay. Let's try this here. This is very odd for me because I crooked. Oh no, it inked on the side. Oh no. Let me see if I can get an eraser to erase that. Anyway, I will um, get these posted and put all the products that I used uh, with this um, rain or shine. Yeah, so I don't have the rain or sh I mean the smiles and sunshine and smiles yet. 
Because it's going to have, it looks like, a couple other, some frogs and some more flowers. So, I am getting that one. Anyway, we have until the 10th. Next, the next five days. So, that would be Wednesday. Wednesday the 10th. I think that's Wednesday. Is that Wednesday the 10th? Wednesday is Friday. Oh, Friday is the 10th. Sorry. I don't know why. I should know that. Super Bowl's on Sunday. The 12th. Oh, by the way, I probably won't be here on Super Bowl next Saturday, but I will shoot a reel. So, anyway. Thank you for watching me live or replay. Again, this is Pam Belder, the Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And, um, <laughs> I don't like my face, but anyway. Um, thank you all for watching. Bye!